as you can see from the beautiful views behind me, Dan and I are currently in Gdańsk, Poland. And while we were here exploring the old city, I thought it would be a really good idea to test out the 35mm or the 50mm lens and see which one is better suited for travel photography. So we're going to do a bunch of tests throughout this video with both lenses to see which one is better suited and what the pros and cons are of taking each of these lenses when you're traveling. In case you're new to the channel, I am a portrait and wedding photographer and my entire kit, I only have prime lenses, which is why we're focusing on that for this video. I made another video in the past on why the 35 millimeter is my favorite lens for travel photography and I'll link that down below in case you guys want to watch and I noticed in the comments that a lot of you said you actually preferred the 50 for travel photos so that's basically what we're going to do today. The first test we're going to do is to take a landscape photo with a person in the frame. So we're going to start off with the 35 and I'm going to take some portraits of Dan and then he will take some photos of me and we'll compare what they all look like. Yeah, that's pretty. Back towards me. All right, and some close ups just there. Walk back away from me a little bit. Stand over there for me. Like around where that little patch of sunlight is. Yeah, that looks so cool. Just do like your little pacing kind of thing. Now Dan is taking some portraits of me. I'm standing right there on the side of the road and we've got the same pink <laughs> building in the background. Sorry for my dodgy camera work. So we're gonna see the difference between the two lenses when there isn't enough or a lot of space to work with for the photographer to move around. We just took some photos with 35 and now we're gonna switch to the 50. With the 50 mil shots, Dan is pretty much backed up against the corner of the wall. There's no further away to go. There he is without bags. Oh, there's me. So I think one of the most important things while you're traveling is also taking photos of food. So the next test we're going to do is taking photos of our food. <laughs> so I found a restaurant called Nova Pierogowa where we're going to have some pierogi which are Polish dumplings. So we're going to go in there now and order some food. We got our food. I ordered the vegetable pierogi, Dan got blood sausage pierogi and we also got raspberry dessert as well. So I'm going to take photo first on the 35. And I already know something really good about the 35 is that you don't need to stand up to get a good shot of all the plates on the table, which is good because it's a little bit embarrassing sometimes to like whip out your camera to take food photos. <laughs> 50 times. So this one for sure, I have to stand up in order to be able to get all the plates in the shot. So we shall see. It's really nice as well. And I'll try one without looking through the viewfinder. Now we're gonna eat it. It looks so good. I feel like an ogre with so many layers on and I'm still cold. <laughs> that food was so good. Now we're going to do some landscape photography. Since we are in the old city of Gdańsk, we're going to do some 
landscapes with the city buildings. And the first place that I want to go to is Ratush, I think it's called, and it is the top of the clock tower where there are some amazing views of the city from there. That way. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I twisted my camera. <laughs> I really wanted to go up to the top of Ratush, but unfortunately it's closed until the 1st of May when spring like properly starts. So I'm gonna get a shot of the outside of the clock tower instead, because it is quite a classic shot of Gdańsk. So I'm gonna start off with my 35. I wanna take a landscape photo so you can see all the buildings leading up to the tower and also a portrait photo. So the tower is like the main focus of the building, of the photo. <laughs> I think I need to get in a little bit closer with my 35 just to fill in more of the frame with the tower. Yes. Okay, now we're gonna switch to my 50. So now with the 50 in the same spot I was standing for the closer up 35 photos, the tower is like the very prominent part of the image, which is really cool. I'm gonna take a few more because that one was very crooked. I'm also not shooting at 1.4 for once in my life, just to get super tack sharp images, especially on the 50. I feel like it really shines at like F2 and a bit higher. It's like super sharp. All right, and I'm gonna walk further back. A couple of things that I noticed just by shooting that landscape is that the 35 has a bit more of an almost editorial feel because you can see so much of what's going on in the scene and there's also something a little bit has kind of like a rough edge to it compared to the 50 mil that compresses the landscape a lot more and has a more romantic feel to it so those are the two differences that I kind of feel while I'm taking photos with both those different lenses. Look at that, it's like a yellow tree against the yellow building. So pretty. And the last test that I wanna do is close up portraits with the 50 and the 35. By the way, I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video, sorry, but I'm shooting on my Canon 5D Mark IV. So this is the 35 and the 50 on a full frame camera. It would be different if you use a crop sensor. And I'm using the Canon 50mm 1.2 and the Canon 35mm 1.4 Mark II lens. So we made our way to Oliver Park because right now it is spring in Poland and they have these beautiful blossom trees. So I'm really excited to get some portraits in front of this. So we're gonna start with the 50 mil. How about like a super duper close up? <laughs> Time to freeze again. And <laughs> do such. This we'll do super close up like the last 50 ones first. Yeah, and some further away ones. Lean over, you know. This is what I look like in between shots because I'm so cold after I took off my coat. <laughs> Yeah, 
Well, that is the end of our tests with the 35 and the 50 millimeter as travel lenses. Here's a recap of all the comparison photos that we took on today's video so you guys can have one final look and please let me know what you think in the comments. I think both lenses are actually really great for traveling with. A point that I made earlier on in this video that I still personally prefer using the 35 millimeter for traveling just because it has a little bit more of an editorial and realistic feel to the photos that it takes. Whereas a 50 can be quite romantic and soft and very pretty. And I kind of prefer the more realistic look that the 35 gives. But that's just me personally. I would love to hear what you think in the comments. But I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I had so much fun making it. I'm so excited to be here in Poland. And Dan and I have so many video ideas that we want to create while we're here. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I release new videos every single Wednesday. So I will see you guys all next time. Bye. I'm about to lay down on the freezing grass because this is a shot reminiscent to when Dan and I went to London like six years ago or something. And I posted this photo on Flickr and this photo actually really helped me take off my audience on Flickr, which is amazing to think about. So we're going to try and recreate it now. I'm going down. I feel so silly. Oh, this scarf is too much. And here. Yeah? <laughs> Let's roll. That actually worked out when I put the beanie under my head. This is a hot tip if you're ever taking photos of someone laying down. If you put something underneath their head, it kind of props it up a little bit. Looks so much better.